Hello guys and welcome to this series of shell scripting. In this video, we are going to look at how we can create menus using the select command. So let's begin. The select command is used to create interactive menus in the shell in which multiple options will be prompted to us and from that list of options we need to select one particular option. Later on we can perform a certain task based on the option we selected. Now to use it we simply use the command select and after that we can provide here any user defined variable for example I'll write here choice okay after that in and after that we need to provide the list of items or list of options these options should be space separated for instance I can write here add delete exist backup okay so these four are our option that is add delete exist and backup after that we write here do and done and inside do and done we write our select body all right so there are two important variable here first one is the reply and another one is the variable that we defined in the select statement the reply variable holds the number of the option that we selected while the user defined select variable holds the options value for example if we choose the exist as our option then reply variable have the value as 3 why because add is our first option del is our second option and exist will be our third option so reply will have the value of 3 that is numeric 3 while the choice variable will have the value as exist okay the entire character value or string right so inside the select body we can write here echo option selected is and then i'm going to write here dollar reply okay if i want to find its equivalent value then we can write here dollar choice okay since choice is our variable so i'll write here option selected value is dollar choice okay and outside the select body i'll simply going to write here echo outside select okay so let's save it and execute our shell script that is dollar forward slash select and it is going to prompt us for the various options okay so add is our first option del is second option exist is the third and backup is the fourth and after that it is prompting us to select a particular option while selecting we need to provide here any numbers not the string okay so for instance suppose i am going to write here one in that case option selected is one okay so reply variable holds the option number why the choice variable holds the options value okay so the value is add okay so at the first location the option one value is add correct now select command acts as a loop and it will keep on prompting us to select any options okay for instance suppose in this case i am giving here three then it will perform the operation within its select body and then it will again prompt us okay suppose then i am writing here four again it will perform the task whatever is inside its body and then it will again prompting me to select any options right this will keep on happening until unless it encounters the break keyword now in this particular example we didn't use any break keyword so it will keep on executing forever so i have to terminate this shell script using the control c okay so i'm pressing here control c Notice when I pressed Ctrl C, the code outside of the select statement are not getting executed. Basically, we are terminating the shell script altogether. Okay. So to use the break, we can provide here another option. Let's say and, right? And at the end, I will write if square brackets dollar choice equal equals to and. In that particular case, I'm going to use the break statement. Okay. So if and inside it I am going to write here break correct so let's save it and again execute our shell script so first of all I am going to choose the option here as 4 so it will perform the options of its body then suppose I am writing here 5 okay so when I am going to write here 5 choice variable will have the value of and and this condition will get true and it will execute the break statement as soon as it will encounter the break statement the program flow execution will move outside the select loop. So if I press enter, you will see that first it is printing us the statements and after that program execution is going outside of the select loop. Now one thing to notice here is that we are getting prompt as hash and question mark. 
If you want to change this prompt, then you need to change the value of the PS3 shell variable. Okay. To do that, we can simply write here PS3. Okay. That is the shell variable. And inside it, we can define our any prompt. So we can write here dollar then who am I? Okay. Which tells the current logged in username and after that comma and then please select a option. Okay. And then the column and another space right so let's save it and if we again execute our shell script you will see currently i am logged in as wiki so it is saying wiki comma please select an option right so we can write here too for instance then it will perform its task and then it will again ask me to select any options right so i can write here four and finally i will write here five to end the select loop okay now remember select loop is mainly used along with the if else statements or with the case statements right here we had used the if statements or if else statement similarly let's see an example of the select loop with the case statements so in this particular example i have created various functions in which first one is the add user function in which we can write the logic for adding the users in the system similarly another function for deleting the user then to check whether the user exists or not okay so three functions are there and after that i am defining ps3 variable as please select an option which will be act as a prompt for us okay then i am using the indexed array and inside the indexed array i am providing various options right after that we are using select action in dollar options at the rate so it will provide the space separated values which will act as a options Note that after the in, we can provide here space separated values or we can also provide the variables like we had used here or we can also provide the commands. If we are using the command, then first that command will get executed and whatever is the output based upon that, the option will be shown. Okay, the output should be space separated and only then it will act as an options, right? So after that, we are using the action and we are checking that whether the actions value is add user deal user or it is is user exist and finally i am checking for the end right so if it is add user then we are calling the add user function if it is deal user then we are calling the deal user function and after that another option that is is user exist and if this is the option selected then it is going to call the function that is user underscore exist right and finally we have the end that means the user has selected the end option and in this particular case we are going to use the break statement basically to terminate the select loop and at the end we are going to write program execution completed thank you so let's save it and execute our shell script so i'll write here dot forward slash select and in this case it is going to give us various options so let's say i'm going to write here two so it is calling the dil user function similarly let's say i'm writing here three so it is calling the function that can be used to find that whether the given user exists or not and if at the end i'm going to select the option as 4 then it will hit the break statement and the select loop will get terminated and at the end it will say program execution completed thank you now one final note about the select command is that it is not the part of the POSIX standard if you don't know about the POSIX standard these are the various standards defined by the IEEE to maintain compatibility between various operating systems. There are many categorization of these standards and one such category is the shell commands. And within that shell commands standards, you will not see the select command. Okay. That is also the reason in some reference, you will see that there are three loops used inside the shell script. That is the for loop, while loop and until loop. And in some references, you will see there are four loops that is along with the select loop okay in any case if you want to learn more about the POSIX standards or the shell command standards defined by the POSIX then I will provide you the link in the description you can check that out so that's all today guys I hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and I have to see you in the next video